Hey guys, it is Marianne from Thrive with your tip of the day. Today, I wanted to show you how you can insert symbols or special characters into your spreadsheets, which can be useful when you're creating things like invoices or checklists, or you just need something that looks a little bit more polished and you want it to be more than simply the text or the data that you've got. So we can do it in a couple of ways. We can do it inside the cell as it's content on its own. So we're up in our tab at the top here. Sorry, we've gone from the home tab. We've gone to the insert tab. You can see there's lots of things we can put in. Remember that my uh, view is a little bit squished up just so that you can see it clearly, see the main sheet clearly on your tab, on your screen, on your device. But uh, from the insert tab, as we move across, Right at the end, you'll have a section called symbols. So if you're working with a full screen view, it will be at the very end of the insert tab on the right. If you drop it down, you'll have the option of an equation or a symbol. When we use the symbol one, what happens is that this other window will open up, this pop-up will come for you. So we've got symbols themselves that are based on the font. And you can see, I can scroll through here. I've got things like um, playing card symbols and arrows and triangles and the trademarks and the degree symbol, those sorts of things. You can see these are my recently used ones. And each one has a character code. So um, it's got like a unique identifier. All sorts of those ones are here. We've also got some special characters, things like a copyright or a registered or a trademark. And if I click here, if I was to want to put one of these in, so if I wanted to put, say, a copyright one in, I can hit insert. And you can see Oh, excuse me. Um, it has popped that one in. Now, it's treated like text in the in the cell. So I could now put this in. I can type around it. I can type in front of it. And I can format it the same way I would anything else. So I can change the font from the home tab. I can change the font, the size, the color. So you can still work with it to make it fit your content. But it means that you can instead of having to write copyright, you can just pop the symbol in. The same with things like trademark or currency signs, uh, anything that you think might be really relevant. So jump in and have a look and see if it's something that would be useful for you.